We're here talking with Brad Abraham, author of Mixtape, about his comic. Hi, Brad. Hi, Joanna. Uh, first off, can you tell the audience a little bit about Mixtape as a book? Uh, well, Mixtape is, I like to call it a fictional rock and roll memoir, in that it's uh, the story of the alt-rock explosion in the early 1990s when underground music sort of became the mainstream and conquered the mainstream, as experienced by these five uh, high school characters coming of age against that backdrop. You know, they're, they're seniors, they're going to be graduating soon, heading out into the real world, just as bands like Nirvana and the Pixies and Smashing Pumpkins kind of erupt into the mainstream and, and conquer music for a, what was really a very short period of time before everything kind of imploded in on itself and, and collapsed back down into the underground. And that journey, that musical journey, I guess you could call it, is sort of mirrored by the experience that they go through over their lives. And it's really about that period in your life when your friends and the music you listen to together are the most important things to you, but how it's such a very fleeting, short period of time. And it's, it's not that long before you're not listening to the same music as you used to, and you're really not friends with the same people you were. You kind of move on. So that's more or less the story of it. You're clearly very knowledgeable about music history. What, do you have a background in that area? I have no background in music other than just being a big fan of music. I was I always wanted to be in a band. Uh, the problems with that were I couldn't play an instrument, I couldn't sing. Um, and the funny thing is none of the characters in Mixtape are musicians. They're all just fans of music and people who feel I guess like all teenagers do, that you kind of feel out of place, you're sort of looking for um, you're that tribe, that musical tribe, or that thing that you can kind of latch on to. I mean, I'm wearing a Ramon shirt right now. Back when I was in high school, wearing a Ramon shirt was like a, a badge of honor. Like You were more or less advertising your music and the type of band you're into and the, the, the type of attitude you had. Um, now, it's, it's, I think the era in mixtape, you're not going to get that back, like any musical era. I think it was the last era where you saw a really large mass movement in music kind of transform the industry. Uh, but then again, like I said earlier, it, it was very fleeting. It didn't really last very long, but there's still repercussions. And yesterday, the top trending thing on Twitter was Kurt Cobain, who died 19 years ago. And you know, that, that music's still with us, and mixtape is kind of... I like to think of an ode or a documentation of that period, uh, but also trying to find more of a contemporary parallel, not make it just a nostalgia for nostalgia's sake kind of book. What drove you to tell this story in comic form? Um, you know, I had the story in mind. I just didn't know what kind of format I was going to tell it. I primarily write movies and television, and the types of stories I wanted to tell with mixtape seemed a little too intimate or a little too personal. I couldn't quite figure out. Uh, what format it was going to take, uh, and it was as I was packing up my my household to move to New York City, I happened upon a box full of old mixtapes and a box of old comic books, and it was like that moment when you get chocolate and peanut butter and you kind of merge them together and you say, hey, this tastes amazing, and it, my, it, it kind of spurred my interest in comic books again, because I'd kind of fallen off the map, just like my interest in music has sort of fallen off the map. And, Moving down to New York, there's so many great comic book stores, there's such a great comics community that I just kind of dived into the deep end of the pool and just read, uh, you know, books like uh, Local by Brian Wood and Box Office Boys and by Alice Robinson. And I always wanted to read and do a comic book, and people had encouraged me to do a comic book, and it, it, it just seemed to fit. I could, I could picture it, the types of stories I wanted to tell as working in the comic book format to the degree that I don't think they'd really work as well as a movie or a TV series or you know, even a novel. There's just something about the look of comics, particularly a black and white indie comic like this one, that um, I think it just lends itself to that type of story, that very early 90s aesthetic of a zine where everything's very photocopied and very thick lines and very black and black. So, you know, I can't really 